what's going on? All right, meet Andrea. Now, there are currently four mistakes that are happening with Andrea's hair that, well, unfortunately, are causing her to look a little bit older. So I'm going to walk you through exactly what those mistakes are and, more importantly, how she can correct those mistakes so she can get a more youthful look. And then, at the end of this video, this is a good one, I have a handful of different ideas, curveballs, if you will, so uh, stick around. Oh, and before we start, a big, huge thank you to Skin Research Institute for sending out a dryer that I'm going to be talking to you about in a little bit uh, that is perfect for that thing right there and home and all the things, but you'll understand in a minute, so let's get into the video. Okay, now, before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and explain to the new folks exactly what this series is all about, but if you're a veteran, why don't you go ahead and comment below and tell me if you can determine exactly what mistakes Ender is making. Now, if you are new here, my name is Justin Hickox, and well, I've been doing hair since 1995. So what I like to do on this particular series is people actually send me in photos of themselves asking the question, what mistakes am I making with my hair? And more importantly, how can I get a more youthful look? And that's exactly what I do. I choose one of those submissions and I throw them up here and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a video. So people actually do want this information. I'm not as mean as it might seem. Okay, now with that, before we dive in, we need to read the email so that you kind of have an understanding of where I'm coming with some of these suggestions. So let's do that. The email says, Thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to possibly be one of the subjects on your channel. I'm currently growing out my colored hair and I'm loving the gray. I've always felt a bit self-conscious of my crooked nose and think that a side part offsets it. What do you think? Any suggestions would be very greatly appreciated. Thanks, Justin. Okay, so now that you have an idea of what exactly Andrea is struggling with currently and what she's going on with her hair, you have a better idea of kind of where my suggestions are going to come from. And so with that said, why don't we first dive in to the mistakes. Okay, mistake number one is that it's just a little bit too long. Now, if you've spent any time with this channel, you know that I'm not against long hair whatsoever. But in this particular situation, it's starting to make the ends look a bit thinner than I think her hair texture actually is. Let me explain this. Many times this can happen from overlayering. If it's overlayered, it might look thin at the ends and it just kind of makes it look somewhat unhealthy. However, I'm not sure that that's the case in this particular situation. It may be, but if I'm honest, it's kind of hard to tell with the waves styled into it like this. But what I do see, if you look at the top right here, is that the hair at the roots looks pretty thick. Like each individual hair strand looks pretty thick. But as you move down the hair shaft from the mid shaft and then towards the ends, it gets progressively thinner and thinner. Now many times, not all times, but many times, this particular hair texture actually grows kind of to a certain length and then it kind of just doesn't grow strong after that. It starts to get thinner and thinner at the bottoms and it starts to look less healthy and ultimately it starts to not support any sort of real internal shape or just kind of hairstyle in general. So bringing that length up a little bit to where it's a bit thicker will go a long way to making not only Andrea's hair look thicker, but also to make the overall shape look stronger. Mistake number two is that the bangs are cut too square and too far back. Now, if you look at this profile shot right here, you'll see that they kind of go back towards the back of the head instead of angling down and kind of connecting in to the front layering. Now the concern with this is that from the front shot right here, you see that it adds a little bit of squareness to the overall shape, which accentuates kind of a fullness on the sides and ends up accentuating a fullness in Andrea's cheeks. Now, if we switch back to the profile right here, there's an even larger concern about this. Okay, now when you look at this profile pic, I want you to comment below and tell me, where is your eye heading right now? What are you drawn to look at? Let me give you a second to actually do that. All right, now, if you answered back towards the back, kind of to the nape of her head, or down her back and towards the floor behind her, you should give yourself a gold star. <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> it didn't even sound good coming out. <laughs> but that's exactly what's going on. And that kind of takes us into mistake number three. Mistake number three is all about the fact that it's layered too far back. So the squareness in the front on the bangs that comes back towards the back of the head, and then the layering in the front being on top of that layer too far back towards the back, those two things really amplify each other and all of that together brings your eye back down the shape instead of lifting your eye up the shape and accentuating more cheek structure, bone structure, and lifting the face in general. Okay, mistake number four is the style. It's the way that it's being styled, I should say, and it's the wave in her hair. 
Now the concern with this is not that she can't wear wavy hair. And when we get to the next section where I show you these curveballs and these different ideas, you'll see why I believe that she absolutely could wear wavy hair. But in this particular situation with what's going on with her hair right now for mistakes one, two, and three, this bit of wave is again coming back off of her face, which is bringing more of that eye back down the shape from the profile, but also adding a little bit more width because wave does add volume inherently just because it compounds on itself. It's adding even more of that width to the sides. So when you look at the front, it's compounding that fullness around her cheeks. I would recommend switching that up so that we don't end up with quite so much fullness. Now you might be asking, well, how would she style it differently? What would be a good style? Now, I wouldn't say that she needs to do it stick straight. I do think straighter, smoother, with just a little bit of bend, would definitely be a really good way to go. And I'll show you exactly what that'll look like here in just a minute. Um, but then the next question is, well, how does she do that? Well, <laughs> perfect timing. One good way to start doing that is by, well, using this. Yes, this is the SRI Dry Q hair dryer from Skin Research Institute. Now they sent this over and I've been using it for the past few weeks and I'm a big fan, but let me break down some of the features of this and then I'll break down one specific feature that is extremely attractive to someone like myself. Now, first of all, this is clearly a pretty small blow dryer, but it does pack the punch of any of its larger brothers or sisters. It has multiple different drying settings depending on your desired results and or your hair texture, including a fast dry setting. I have noticed that when I use that setting, it does seem to dry the hair very quickly. It also has all the magnetic attachments that if you know me, you know I'm a huge fan of. It also has this that easily removes so that you can access the filter so that you can clean that out. Now, one thing that I have not seen in another dryer, but this does have, is this. I don't know if you noticed that, but that turned red, and that is red light technology. Now, what SRI claims is that this not only can help to repair damaged hair, but it also can help to stimulate hair growth. Now, that would be huge. One other thing you may have noticed when I was turning this on is it's not exceptionally loud. I've been using this, like I said, primarily on my hair for the past few weeks, and I've noticed that even on its fast dry setting, it's not obnoxious to where it bothers me at all. And the fact that I could just talk over that, I would say says quite a bit. But the one feature to me that really makes this stand out for my lifestyle is this. Yes, as you can see, this is already a compact dryer. It's smaller than most. However, this is a game changer. My wife and I live inside of this, and that means that we don't have a lot of space. So if you're a person like me that either lives in a small space, travels a lot, or maybe you just don't want a dryer that's gonna take up a lot of space in your bathroom, this definitely should be on your radar. Now I put a link in the description below so that you can learn a little bit more about this dryer and maybe try one out for yourself. Or let me hop back into the video and check out these suggestions and see what we got. Sound good? Okay. okay, before we dive into exactly what it would look like if Andrea actually took all of my advice, let's hit on one of the key points in her email, which was about her nose and if she's parting it in the correct place to kind of offset what she's seeing, what she's uncomfortable with. Now, here's what I would say. Does a side part or a center part or whatever kind of part draw attention or draw attention away from specific facial features? Absolutely. I've done a whole video on it, you can check out right here. But I will tell you that what you need to pay attention to if you feel like you have some sort of asymmetry and it's uncomfortable for you, then parting it down the center is where you need to be concerned about. Down the center will draw more emphasis to any sort of asymmetry in your face. So parting it on the side that you're parting it right now, you're spot on, you're doing the right thing. But let me stop before we just jump out there and say that What's most important, regardless of what I say or what if anybody else says, is that you do what's most comfortable and what feels the best to you. So if I tell you that you should probably stay away, if this is your concern, from center parts, but you love center parts, you feel confident in them, ignore what I say completely, ignore what anybody else says completely, it doesn't matter. It's not important. What's the most important thing for you is that you do what you feel good in. I hope that helps. Now. Let's go take a look and see exactly what it would look like if Andrea actually took my suggestions and made those changes. Oh, and you know what? This would be the perfect time. Uh, I never asked for this, actually. I need to do this more often. But if you're getting any value from this channel or this video, uh, you would be a huge help 
if you hit that little subscribe button, it costs you absolutely nothing, and it really helps us out and make sure that you get access to more of this fantastic content. <laughs> That's really arrogant. If you like it, it's fantastic. If you hate it, then don't bother. Definitely don't subscribe. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you all of these changes all at once on one final product so you can see exactly what all this would look like. So if we actually did let those front layers fill in, bring that length up just a little bit, take the squareness out of her bangs, and style it a little bit differently, this is what that would look like. Okay, now, as you can see, I'm also showing you this as though her hair is completely gray. We're not using the current color that she has. Now, the reason behind that is because a lot of these changes are gonna be a grow out change, meaning that it's nothing that we can really do overnight. It's gonna take a second to let some of these layers kind of fill in. So it just kind of made more sense to show you what it looked like in that format. But also because she is wanting to transition, I wanted to give you an idea of what the overall full transition would look like. And that's where we ended up with this. Now, I like this look on her and I actually really like the salt and pepper on her. I wasn't sure if I would like it more or think that darker would look better. And we'll jump to that here in just a second when we dive into all these curveballs I've got for you. But I think the salt and pepper actually brings her eyes out a lot and looks fantastic on her. So, Andrea, I don't think it's a bad move at all. If you want to do it, rock with it. And so now, Let's dive into the curveball section. I've got four different ideas for you. Let's see which ones you love, and which ones you think I am dumb and should never have even put that on this video. Uh, yeah, you know there's gonna be some of those, right? <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Okay, so at first, I didn't wanna change up the overall style too dramatically, but I did wanna give it a little bit more movement and a little bit more texture just to kind of give her a little bit more options with not just the way she styles it, but also just the overall end result, if you will. So this is what I came up with. Now, you're gonna have to mildly ignore this color. I realized that this gray doesn't really match the same tone. The first photo I just showed you would be much more closely representative of a more natural gray that Andrea might end up with. And this is just a little bit off, but I couldn't get it to match. So I apologize, work with me here a little bit. But the overall layers and movement I actually really like. Now, as I said before, this would do really well at giving her more versatility with the way she styles it. If you remember earlier, my one of my biggest kind of mistakes was the idea of styling it wavy. And I said, it's not that she cannot style it wavy or that she shouldn't wear it wavy, but just that with the, her particular haircut, the wave is kind of working against her. And with this particular shape, she could totally go to a wavy look and it would take some of that bulk out of the sides, give it a bit more lift, and really do a very good job in giving it some softness. Just to kind of give you a better idea of what that might look like, let's move on to my next curveball. Now in the next curveball, we're basically doing that. We've kept the layers, we've changed up the overall style of it, and we mildly changed the color. And here's what that looks like. <laughs> okay, I'm aware that this is quite different, and I also am aware that she said in her email she's going gray, which means why would you end up wanting to go dark? It's the complete opposite of where she's headed. That's true. I won't argue with that, and I don't think that gray, like I said, is a bad idea for her, but I did want to show you something different. Maybe she decides that she wants to move back to the idea of dark hair again, or colored hair again in general. I think this would be a good option. I think the depth in this tone really does a great job of making those eyes even stand out more. Like I said, that was one of the first things I noticed about her when I saw her photos. And so any way we can really draw more attention to them, I'm all in. And you gotta say, dark hair is gonna go that direction. So that's why we went here and I like it. But what if we change it up even more? Let's go a little bit shorter. Let's uh, get a little bit more dramatic. And so with this one, I wanted to push that envelope a tiny bit more, but still keep it somewhat would, should be in a comfort zone for Andrea. And here's what we ended up with. Okay, now I actually really like this style. This is kind of a cross between a bob shape and what she currently has, or at least what my suggestions would be if she'd made those changes. And for me, this is a really strong look. If you look at the bottom right here where you can see this kind of strong line in this corner in the front, that's what lends itself to feel more like a bob. But all the layering and the movement and the texture really give it a lot of versatility with the way she styled it. She could still move into wave with this or straight with this. There's a lot of movement and texture. And again, we're staying dark and I definitely do like the dark. 
So I think this would be a good shorter version. This is kind of moving towards shorter ideas, but staying still within a comfortable overall shape. And that's what takes me to my next idea, which is this. <laughs> okay. I know, I know, I know. First of all, again, look at this color and say that I do like the blonde, but recognize that I don't love this actual tone. The tone isn't bad, but the color could be much better. I don't know. I just couldn't get quite the right look with it. But I did want to show you a kind of blonde, lighter option, but still with some depth because the depth is going to go a long way to adding the texture and the movement and still keeping it from washing her out too much while still allowing it to be quite light and feel kind of blonde. So I personally really like this overall look. I do like the bob shapes. You know, I'm a huge fan of bobs, um, but I did want to show something that had a little bit more movement and texture to it, but still had that stronger line. So this is kind of a version of the last one we just looked at, but just a bit shorter with a little bit less layering. But you know how I roll. I'm most interested in you telling me what you think, unless you hate all of them and just be quiet. <laughs> no, comment below. Let me know which one do you think she should do. One through four. Throw it out there. Throw your opinion out there. This is an open forum. You know how it roll. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and relax. And no, I'm not. I'm going to go back to the van because my hands, I can't even feel them. It's freezing. I might not make it look like it's cold, but it's freezing right now. So I'm leaving. <laughs> but with that said, a big, huge thank you to SRI for sending out the blow dryer. Head down to that link and uh, learn a little bit more about that dryer. Or at minimum, put that dryer definitely on your radar. All right, otherwise, you have a fantastic day. You can go ahead and watch this video right here if you want to see more of stuff like this. All right, it's right there. Okay, cool. I'm cold. Bye. <laughs>